Uh, so if the tees are at the back, I normally hit two on, um, and then I've got like a gap wedge in. Um, but yesterday I hit uh, three on and pitching wedge. But yeah, um, it's a good hole. You got to hit it straight off the tee. Uh, the green spins a lot. Yesterday I pitched it like per hour, and it spun off the green. So got to watch for that. Um, I'll see the pins at the back today. So got to try and take the spin off. You're out with his second to the par four, 18th. The man busy with the eight under par round so far today. That one, unfortunately, not biting. He will have a putt for 63. He's given that a good chance, unfortunately. Just sliding past. Excellent 64 today. 10 under for the tournament and eventual fifth place finish. Niklas also with a six under par round today. Nice bunker shot. For three. He's got that for a 64 finish. Nicely done. Ending up in tied for eighth. Solid three days for him. Maqueta now, currently four under for the round. His approach not drawing as much as he would have liked it. Leaving him a lengthy birdie putt. Giving this a chance. Unfortunately, just running out of speed, but he'll tap in for par. Tournament seven under. Eventually 11th place. Albert now drawing this one in nicely. Attacking this flag. Pitching. And that's been great ball control. He'll have that for birdie and 68. And a nice top 10 finish for Albert. Ryan now chipping. He needs to get up and down for an incredible 63. Might even be 62, unfortunately, just running out of speed. Fantastic 63, clubhouse leader. Some very good golf young man. Ian now into this difficult pin placement. Bouncing short. Running up nicely. Very long. Birdie putt coming up. Sure will be happy to get away with the two putt. Gregory now also with a fantastic eight on a par round on the go. Just a little bit too far right with his approach. Also will have a long birdie putt. Yeah, now giving this one Good wrap, fortunately, just falling below the hole. But a tap in, 10 under par, fifth place finish. Good couple of days' work. Gregory now trying to get it to 9 under for the day. Fortunately, a little bit steamy, catches the lip. Coming back par, oh, once again a bit steamy, hits the same lip. Come on, take your time, clean it up nicely. Oh. An unfortunate, got to concentrate in this game. It's a sad finish to a very good round of golf. Eventually third place. Vaughan now with his approach to 18. A little bit aggressive, finds the back of the green. Carl McClatchy now. From the center of the fairway, drawing that one nicely. Lever, makeable, pretty chance. Fortunately, that not one not breaking as much as he thought it would, but he'll tap in for his par. Finishing at eight under, another top 10 finish for a regular contender. Or now with a long putt. Not had the best of days today. 
also one of the regular contenders, finishes off with a par, he'll be back to fight another day. Aiden now, nice and positive out the bunker, just past the pin, needs that for his par to remain at 11 under, confidently stroked in, it'll give him tied for third. Ryan chipping now for three. Good hands the man has got. And lo and behold, that one's going to sneak in for a nice birdie finish. Man hasn't had the best of days. Gets himself now to one under for the day, nine under for the tournament. Still smiling though. Keelan now with his third. Busy with an eight under par round. Our leader judged that chip very nicely. He'll have about four feet for par for a fantastic finishing round of 64, 15 under par, and his second tournament in two weeks. Uh, tournament champion, Keelan van Wijk. And with my last win, a lot of self-belief came with it. And I would just say I was more confident this week. I came here knowing that I can win because I have done it before and I think my, I just stuck to my process and yeah, that's what took care of it. All ranking points does play a big role because if you know, like you, when you win, you do jump up quite a few spots. But for now, I just want to stick to my process and see how far it gets me. I want to uh, retain my sunshine to a cart through the big easy order of merit and that's just my plan for now. Um, once again, the putter. Um, I'm actually, it's quite funny, I'm putting with my dad's putter. So I don't think he'll be getting it back anytime soon. But yeah, definitely my putting and I was able to, even though I hit a few bad shots, I was able to scramble. Like on nine, I hit my tee shot in the trees and I was able to up and down from 100 meters. So yes, definitely scrambling, but more so putting. If I had a dollar for every time I played a round of golf with an amateur using the wrong golf ball, I'd probably have my own private island by now. The Strixon Soft Field is the choice for players who need distance and accuracy in a softer, low compression golf ball. The all new Soft Field has a large core offering incredible distance and an even softer cover for awesome feel around the greens. So take it from someone who's seen a lot of people who play the wrong ball. Try the all new Soft Field.